our present video uh, gives the solution to a set of uh, three problems on network theorems and uh, these problems are related to the uh, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, superposition theorem and uh, the important points uh, to be noted here are that all these problems uh, consist of uh, both dependent and independent uh, voltage or current sources and uh, the dependent sources are treated as uh, independent sources when uh, when you use a nodal uh, or mesh analysis but they cannot be uh, applied the superposition so the dependent sources cannot be deactivated so the problem uh, which we are considering here the first problem here is uh, not of uh, the gate uh, problem but it's a very, very good uh, problem covering uh, most of the aspects uh, uh, related to the uh, concern topic so uh, we'll see this problem this is a uh, problem on network theorems uh, the problem is use superposition theorem to find out the current three current through three ohm resistance shown in figure the circuit diagram is given here this circuit diagram has a uh, two independent uh, sources uh, the first one is a, a voltage source here of 4 volts and uh, the second independent voltage source is a 2 amperes source and the dependent voltage source is of 5Vx here why it is dependent because, dependent because uh, the value of this voltage source depends upon the voltage across this 2 ohm resistance that is why it is said to be a dependent voltage source so we can uh, apply superposition uh, term to determine we have to determine the current through this 3 ohm resistor so that current we can find by applying superposition and that superposition is to be applied only to the independent voltage sources so uh, let us see the first case uh, where we deactivate the current source deactivate the current source of 2 amperes the current source of 2 amperes is deactivated that means uh, it is replaced by its uh, internal impedance that is open circuit so it is to be noted here that the dependent sources cannot be deactivated so we are not to deactivate these uh, dependent sources so that source is being left as such here now uh, from this uh, uh, circuit the circuit uh, which we have got after deactivating the current source the current I1 is flowing in the loop this current I1 uh, we can determine through 3 ohm resistor first we determine the KVL uh, into the Z loop this is twice of I1 if I1 is the current twice I1 then uh, 4 volts plus 4 volts plus 3 I1 plus 5Vx equals to 0 this is the uh, KVL applied to this loop so you can determine 5I1 plus 4 equals to minus 5Vx so this is one equation and you notice from here that the voltage uh, Vx is given a polarity this is plus and this is minus side so this Vx with this polarity would be minus 2I1 so because the if it is I1 is flowing this 
polarity this end should be positive this should be negative so it is Vx is minus 2 I1 using these uh, two equations uh, we can determine uh, the value for I1 so this is the value of I1 because of the uh, 4 volt uh, source while the current source has been deactivated ok similarly we will be able to find uh, uh, the value for the uh, current through this network or three, through this uh, 3 ohm resistor uh, by deactivating the voltage source once we deactivate the voltage source it has been replaced by a short circuit and uh, we apply KCL at the node P so this is I2 I2 is the current uh, going out of the node I2 plus Vx this voltage Vx by 2 is also current going outside in uh, node P and this is current entering the node so this is equals to so we get an equation Vx is equal to 4 minus 2 I2 now we apply KVL to the outer loop here this loop we apply KVL so if you apply KVL this is 3 I2 3 into I2 then 5 Vx and this voltage is Vx so equals to Vx because polarity is different so it is equals to Vx so this gives me 4 Vx is equal to minus 3 I2 now from these two equations we can find the value for I2 Sub substituting uh, uh, the value here uh, you can uh, find uh, because Vx is 4 into 4 minus 2 I2 so substituting the value of Vx here you get the value for I2 is 16.5 amperes so this is the value of I2 here and this uh, value is of I2 is because of the because of the this current source so if you apply superposition that means the current through 3 ohm resistor would be a combination of I1 and I2 because of these two, uh, two both the independent sources so this is 4 by 5 plus 16 by 5 20 by 5 this is a 4 amperes so the answer here is current through 3 ohm resistor is 4 amperes is the answer so this problem so this particular problem has considered a case where both dependent and independent sources are present and uh, how to uh, determine uh, the current through a particular element in the network using the principle of superposition. Thank you.